Hey traders, short recap of my trading session today. I'm about to go long LCID. Now I know you're used to see me going short stocks, but in this case, it's a gap and go long. It's the same idea. A stock is gapping up more than 3%. You expect it to go or to continue with the gap. Gap and go, meaning going long. Now LCID is up more than 4%. It's a nice technical reversal here and I'm buying 4,000 shares right here. The first sign you want to see, you want to see the sellers failing to push it lower and the sellers did come in you know profit taking whatever reason it is I don't care the fellows came in first that's the important part now it's a nice reversal point it just spiked up it touched the highs $40 whole number I'm up like $1600 and it's now going sideways now please remember whole numbers are always an issue whole numbers are always a very hard resistance to move over and in this case now not only do I have the whole number the S&P is moving to a new low and since the S&P is moving to a, low, a new low and I do have the whole number then I'm about to take my profits right over here and I'm clicking the button and I'm just leaving 400 shares now it's not as good trade as I was expecting it to be I just took my profits less than my prof profit target which was just over the $40 mark now I did leave 400 shares and as you can see again it found some resistance at the $40 mark lots of sellers at the $40 mark but finally it does push through and goes over that was my target and I'm selling another 300 shares right here leaving 100 shares so it was a very nice trade not as I expected but the lesson to learn from here is very simple first a gap and go long is when you have a stock that is gapping up more than 3% you look for the sellers to fail you find the reversal point you move in and then you take your partial at your planned partial point but always look at the S&P direction because if the S&P is going to come down and you have a very strong resistance then the stock you're trading is likely to come down with the market as well so although you had your target you need to take your profits before your target's price because you need always to follow the S&P 500 by the way the LCAD stopped right here did come down the only thing is it took it some time the first move is always done by the S&P 500 but then 80% of the stocks 80% not 100% but 80% of the stocks that you will trade will follow the S&P 500 the S&P makes the first move LCID will make the second move so if you watch LCID at this highs right over here it did come down and continue to come down and I had my stop somewhere over there now anyway always watch the S the S&P 500 that gives you the best clue of what the stock that you are about to trade is about to do and here are my results I had three green trades and one loser in BABA and results just 30 minutes of trading up over $9,000 sounds easy it is not trading is extremely hard and you need to remember that my results are not typical most traders lose money and if you want to do what I do you need years of practice and please 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 start with a demo there are links right here below to an interactive practice lesson Lesson, which is like a demo but it comes with limits like you can't lose too much you can't uh, if you lose too much daily then you'll be locked out until uh, the next day and monthly and so on it is a very good tool to learn trading and plenty of other links right here below too so please be careful if you like this video please give me a thumb up and you can always subscribe to my channel right over here I want to thank you for watching thank you again see you tomorrow